Hey, it's Cole here, and I'm here to talk about the three steps to building a team in your life. So this was inspired by a breakfast that I had with a friend, a colleague, a fellow vision-driven, service-driven entrepreneur who is committed to helping people make a difference in the world. And he started his business about three months ago. And within three months, he's already at the $30,000 a month um, mark with his revenue. And so we started getting into a conversation about what it's really taken for him to get these incredible results in his life, to be in a place where he's actually making a difference for people and actually taking a stand in the world the way that he wants to take a stand in the world in. And he said the number one thing the number one thing that is helping him achieve his success and have the joyful life and for this to be a fun, pleasurable process for him. I mean, we're talking about going to Thailand in January and going to the full moon party. He's talking about how next month he's traveling to some epic place and in December. So he's living at the same time that he's living in vision and building his dream. And he said the number one way that he's doing this is through team. It's through team. He's not doing this alone. And I can tell you that any sort of a success that I've achieved in my life has been because I've used community. One of my greatest gifts is relationship. I am tremendous in relationship. I just moved out to San Diego and it was incredible what I was able to manifest because of my ability to create team in the relationship space of my life. So what that looked like for me was manifesting homes to stay in for free, manifesting amazing opportunities. Within the first week of living in San Diego, I had an incredible tribe surrounding me. I had so many friends and so many opportunities for dates and connections and friend dates and uh, adventures. And it was all because of the team I build in the relationship space of my life. So to be successful in any place of your life, you need to have a team. So if there's a goal that you haven't achieved yet, you want to look at what does my team look like in this space? Do I have a team? I can tell you in my business, I was trying to do everything alone for the longest time. And where that got me was not very far. And where that got my friend who was using team was the complete opposite. I mean, his business blew up because he was using team. So my point in sharing this with you is that if you're struggling in any area of your life, I want you to look at what does my team look like? What does my support system look like? Do I have a mentor? Do I have friends and community who are doing epic in this area of their life? Do I have really successful friends here? So if you want to be an entrepreneur and grow a business, do you have fellow entrepreneurs around you really supporting you in this vision, cheering you on? If you want an amazing relationship, an amazing partner in your life, are you surrounded by a bunch of people who are either hating dating or in relationships where they're fighting all the time and miserable? That's not going to serve your vision. So you want to build a team in your life wherever you're feeling challenged and wherever you're struggling. So I want to talk about three steps to building a team. So step number one is getting really, really clear on what you want. Write this down. Get clear on what I want. I can't tell you how many people I've had conversations with about struggling in their relationship. And what they continue to speak to me about is the struggle and what's not working. When I ask them what they actually want in a relationship, what their vision is, they don't have an answer. So if there is something that you're challenged with and you're struggling in, maybe you want to build a business, maybe you want to have a better relationship, maybe you want to build a successful team in the current business that you have, be in great relationship with the people that you're with, get really clear on what you want and what that looks like. Paint a vision for what you want. For people to help you, they have to know what you're working towards. So step one, get really, really clear on what you want and paint a vision for what you want. Step number two, you have to be able to connect. So step number two is be connected. 
So that includes being connected to yourself and being able to connect and to relate to others. So if communication is a struggle for you, if you have a hard time listening, if you have a hard time sharing yourself really, really vulnerably, all of these pieces are part of being connected. I run into so many people who are so disconnected, they have a wall in front of their heart and they don't even know it. If you don't have really intimate, amazing, vulnerable, authentic relationships, you are disconnected. I hate to break that news to you. So step number two is be connected. And that connection starts with yourself. So getting vulnerable with yourself, getting real with yourself, really being honest with yourself. So being connected, being able to communicate, being able to be vulnerable is step number two. And step number three, the most important of all, is to ask for support. Asking for support is one of the scariest things that people can do. It's absolutely vulnerable. You must be able to ask for support in order to make your vision happen. If there's something you want in your life, I guarantee that asking for support is an area where you get to stretch into if you haven't gotten it out of your life yet. So if you want to build a business, you want to have an amazing relationship, you want to find a partner, you want to grow in some way, you get to ask for support. And here's a little caveat to the ask for support. I don't want you asking for support from the Debbie Downers. I want you asking for support from those people in your life that you are inspired by. The cool thing is, if you are living on a desert island somewhere and there is nobody inspiring around you, guess what? We've got this virtual space this, these days. So you want to ask for, for support and immerse yourself into the community of somebody who is living the way you want to live. So living the entrepreneurial life, living in a great, amazing relationship, dating and loving it. Those are the people that you get to ask your support from. So no asking for support from the Debbie Downers or the people that hate dating too or the people that are struggling to love their life or the people that are struggling to build what they want to build. Hang out with people who are living fully, leading fully, loving fully, going after it, who are going to be on your team and taking a stand for you even when you want to give up. So as a recap, step one, know what you want. Step two, be connected. Step three, ask for support. And our little asterisk there is make sure that the person you're asking for support from, your team, is people who are up to epic stuff. So that is exactly what I am committed to doing in this world. I am committed to creating an amazing tribe of people that are lifting each other up so that we can get what we want out of life, so that we can get the results we want to have, so that we can love, live, and lead freely. So that's why I created the Freedom Project. So if you are interested in having your own tribe, having mentorship that is going to get you where you want to get, to having community that is up to big stuff, living big, going after a positive mindset, believing in your vision when you can't believe in it anymore, standing for you when you're having trouble standing for yourself. If that's something you wanna create in your life, you're ready to have a team, you're ready to go for it and live big, then the Freedom Project is for you. And I invite you to click on the link below to check it out, to go a little deeper, to see what kind of team you can build when you take action and say yes. Say yes to support. Say yes to what you want. Say yes to being connected and going for your dreams, your life. So I'm excited to hopefully see you on the Freedom Project page. There's another video on there giving you deeper information on what you get to create when you set yourself free, you be you, and you live a life deeply connected to your vision, your authenticity, your passion, and to loving, living, and leading freely. I love you so much. Thank you for taking some time. I hope this video was beneficial for you today. Make sure to click on the link to hear more about the Freedom Project. And please, please, please share this out with your friends. Let's make a difference in the world together. Sending you so much love. Peace.